Records must be maintained to satisfy the awarding organization and the regulatory bodies, such as Ofqual. So it's important that your EQA records, which are either manual or electronic, show a full audit trail of what has been monitored. So for example, a report of a record of what was sampled, who was met, who was observed, any action points. So if these records are not kept, then there's no proof that the EQA process actually took place. So this includes your own records as well as the AO's report. So the report will be supplied by the AO. However, other records such as log of communication activities, which carried out by centers may not. Okay, so it's really important that you document everything that you do, who you've seen, what you did. So there may be standardized approaches to completing the records and reports. So for example, the amount of detail which must be written, whether the reports should be completed manually or electronically, whether they should be written in the first or third person and how they are completed. So written, word processed or online. Your awarding organization will give you guidance regarding this and may expect you to attend standardization events with other external quality assurers. This will help to make sure that all EQAs provide consistent service to all centers. So some records will be supplied by the AO. So for example, reports and sample plans and records might include the EQA report, the EQA sample plan for any visits or other activities, log of communication activities with centers, observation records with IQAs and assessors, and with assessors and their learners, interview records, so with IQAs, assessors, witnesses, and learners. And the purposes of this is to satisfy the awarding organization and regulatory bodies requirements, to show a valid audit trail for all of your activities, to keep a track of communication with your centers in case of complaints or appeals against your decisions for standardization and quality assurance purposes, in case of malpractice in a center such as plagiarism, and to monitor qualification activity within the center. You also need to consider data protection. So legislation is mandatory for all organizations that hold or process personal data. So data should always be maintained in a way which adheres to relevant legislation. The Data Protection Act gives rights to individuals with regards to the processing and storage of their personal data. It confers rights to the individual to obtain information and to require inaccurate personal data to be rectified or data to be erased. The Act incorporates the General Data Protection Regulation the backing up data and records is important, particularly electronic in case of power failures. Data protection legislation will apply to personal data, which means any information relating to an identified individual who can be directly or indirectly identified in particular by reference to an identifier. So as an EQA, you are a data processor in the fact that your role is to process learner files as part of your role. So processing means any operation or a set of operations which is performed on personal data or on sets of personal data, whether that's by automated means or not, such as collection, recording, organization, structuring, storage, even adapting and altering, retrieval, consultation, use of, use of the documents, disclosure, or otherwise making available aligning or combining combinations restrictions, erasures, and destruction as well. So it's important to manage the information towards the EQA of assessment for several reasons, but generally for validation and the accreditation of the qualification. So it must be kept to provide evidence and good practice and authorized access must be ready for substantiation as well. So it's the law under the newly revised Data Protection Act, so the GDPR, to ensure all personal information is recorded and confidentially kept to ensure privacy is maintained. All personal information must be protected with no authorized access and all information to be continued securely kept for three years after completion of the qualification. So learner, center and staff records must be kept and maintained. These will include portfolios, observations, staff CVs, assessor and IQA certificates, staff instructions, records of continual personal development, IQA records. One limitation of GDPR is that senators often attempt to hide behind the act as an excuse not to provide learner details when they actually must sign this, a declaration saying they must comply with sharing data with AOs as is absolutely necessary to verify the learner details. EQAs are committed to keeping personal information safe and secure and have appropriate and proportional security policies, and organizational and technical measures to follow to help protect information especially if you're working from home. So EQAs must manage and handle personal information, understand you are responsible for following good data protection practice, handle queries about personal information promptly and courteously, 
take all necessary steps to ensure that the personal data is kept secure, ensure all software updates have been installed on computers, and that a regular schedule of maintenance is carried out, including your own computers. Confidentiality should always be maintained as well. So this will regard all EQA information and data used, and this is to keep information safe and secure, and to only let those who have a legitimate interest. So remote working requires all devices, records, and data to be safe and secure.